What's going on everybody and it's Wild Willy and we are back with a perfect tree stand hunt and this one's a little bit different. We're starting at 5 o'clock in the morning. We are fast traveling but 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 keep in mind you do not have to fast travel to the stand. I'm only doing it to try to maximize maximize the animal spawns around this tree stand. We spawned over here at another tree stand that you guys seen in a previous hunt, and we're actually flip-flopping it. We're traveling down to this tent right here, and it's gonna be two camping supplies. Two camping supplies, so not super, super expensive. And then from here, it is a, actually, actually, you know what? I am not taking any risks. We are gonna go ahead and go over here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get on some better camo. But from here, we're gonna go ahead and walk up, crouch, walk, something up into this stand over here and in this location I have got wolf mule deer and grizzly bear elk in the afternoon you in the afternoon you'll get maybe one or two elk to adventure over this way but I already see turds as we're making our way to the stand this stand you have to Take very, very slow to get to. Very slow. Just because you have to walk from here all the way to here. But like I said before, I usually spawn at this tent and then go to here. But I want to keep all the spawns within the 300 meter around this tent active and alive. So we're going to go ahead and start making our way towards the blind or should I say tree stand and see what kind of action we get we could get a great great 10 minutes of action and it dies off but we already got wolf we already got some wolf calling so let's get to the stand this is I usually don't hunt this early in the morning other than this area so let's go ahead and get to the tree stand get up and see what we can find all right well we made it to the tree stand but we had a little bit of a hiccup along the way. Uh, we accidentally hit our wolf collar about 30 meters behind us while we're coming up to this tree stand. And lo and behold, a male actually responded directly behind us right where my tent was. So I had to kind of speed up my pace and get to this tree stand as fast as I could. I can hear something. I'm hearing a bunch of footsteps. Some weird like trotting. That sounded like a freaking horse. But. I don't know. I think it could be wolf. I have waited to call for mule deer. Because I know. We actually have a wolf this way. One coming in right behind us. There you are. This is him. One out of three, one out of three, one out of three. <sighs> Told you, one out of three. Every time, that was probably a freaking shoulder blade. Oh my goodness. Yep, that was a shoulder blade. Yep, I'm gonna have to get out my scent hound. All right, cool. 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 <laughs> Hope I didn't spook everything else off in the process, so I guess we're just gonna call for whitetail. Oh, here, wait. I'm telling you, that sounds like a horse trotting down an old dirt road. I'm not even lying. They make, they're, they're making these wolves sound like they're 500 pounds and running down asphalt. All right, so I'm 0 for 1 on wolves. Let's see if my predictions of me going 1 for 3 on every wolf for a drop shot comes true on this hunt also. Seems like every time I shoot a wolf, I either get a body shot or an intestine shot. I guess I'm just missing the vitals. I, I mean, intestine still still does the job pretty quick. Oh, I hear him. Roof, roof, roof. Roof, roof. Sounds like maybe there might be two. Unless that was him trotting down the road over here too. And I know we have another one across the river. 
the original, as I'm doing my intro, or around the time I'm doing my intro, we had one howl across the river. So I don't know if that was that male that come across, and then he came, followed me. He was stalking his prey. But I'm not sure. There he is right there. Sounds like two. Or am I just getting an echo? This should be the female. Right? Yep, that's the female. All right. Getting ready to take our second shot. I missed. All right. I'll get to you later, mule deer doe. All right. Right below us. Right below us. We got to go for a spine. No. Why? 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 Stop. Freeze. Oh, you would freeze, right? Oh, my goodness. Freeze. Stop. Stop. I still can see your hairline. Please. Can you stop? Just right there. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Come back. Come back. Come back to me. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Right there. Don't move a muscle. Yeah, don't move a muscle. Are you... What? A what? Mom, get the camera. Are you kidding me? Are you oh for 2? We need one more wolf to come in and I have to drop him. Or else my theory of going 1 for 3 on wolves is out the window. But now that that's all the wolf that I know about, which is really weird, they're not in a pack, they're separated. We're going to start calling for mule deers cuz we already hear one in the background. Oh my goodness. I can't believe how did that miss the spine? Right in the center of their back is a patch of different colored fur or a fur line. And that arrow just rocked it right there. And here he is just standing still. I probably could have reloaded and shot him again if I didn't have to buy arrows now. So these two wolves better be 68 GMs so I can go ahead and afford another pack of arrows. I really hope. I really hope. I really hope I'm still just flabbergasted. I am just kind of upset. Oh, look at that right there. We already have a mule deer coming in. What the heck? It's actually a doe. So that is zero GMs, ladies and gentlemen, but we are still going to shoot her. We're still going to draw back our pulsar compound bow that I feel like has no power now. I don't know what's going on. And just let an arrow fly. And hope she drops. Because now I already have two wolves to track. And I'm sure you guys heard me talk about wolves tracking before. It is the most annoying thing ever because they dip, drop, up, jump, crisscross, applesauce, circle around in a million circles, get hit on one tree, and ricochet five. Oh, buck. All right. It's starting to heat up. I guess I can quit. Flapping my yap and start hunting now. How far away is she? Let's 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 get serious. Forty yards. Forty meters. We're gonna try it. We're going for it. You know what? We're already tracking. We might as well have fun. And that just drops her right there. That that was probably a single long liver or at least an intestine. We hit one lung and we hit some other vital. And she just dropped like a sack of potatoes. But we sit here, we shoot a we shoot a wolf in the shoulder blade and it don't hit a lung. Even though shoulders are protecting the lung. But what do I know? So I'm going to go ahead and keep calling and listen for more wolf. But we're not going to call for wolf until we see what kind of mule deer buck we got coming in. So far, we are in the hole. Three arrows. That's not good. That's not good. Arrows aren't cheap. 68 GMs, I believe it is, for a pack of arrows. And we're in the hole. And that we only have one animal down. And that gave, gives us a zero GMs. So let's go ahead and get serious, fellas. What's going on, everybody? It is Wild Willy. And we're in the stand. And we got a mule deer buck coming on in. All right. Well, it looks like we have something coming in. I can't quite tell yet. Right there. Is that a doe? That's a doe, but it looks like there's a mule deer. There's another deer. It looks like behind her in the, in that tree. Hello. 
Show yourself. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let me click on it. Oh, I missed it. I don't hear any footsteps. I don't hear any other footsteps. I think we're good. As long as we drop her. I think we're good. Oh, man. I just wasted more money. Oh, man. This buck better be a giant. This thing better be an absolute, just absolute behemoth. I mean, just a 200-pound mule deer buck. Horns the size of an elk. I don't even know. This thing better be a giant. I better make some good money on him. But it's not all about money. It's all about the hunt. It's all about the hunt. I keep trying to tell myself that, but here I am. Let's take a look. Here I am down to my last... 20 arrows for my pulsar. Oh well. Oh well. I die. It's oh well. Oh well. Well, if I run out of arrows, I guess I just have to spend real money and get more. Or use a gun. But he's got to be close. He's getting close. He's getting close. Like I said before, we're going back to serious. It's. What was that? Could have sworn I just heard another wolf. These things are haunting me. I think I'd rather be chasing after werewolves that actually would eat you rather than these wolves right now. I hear him. He's coming in. Oh, it's a freaking wolf. There's a mule deer buck. There's a freaking wolf somewhere. So you can tell me this wolf and this buck are running together. Not a bad buck. Not a bad buck. I'm hoping for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 20 bucks going once, 20 bucks going twice, 20 bucks going last, and... Ooh, he's actually going to come right in, aren't you? That'll be sweet. He's going to stop right there. Right out of range. Garrett, nope, he's not. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm surprised... Where's this wolf? Where is Mr. Wolf at? Oh, no, not that call. He's close. I think he's straight out. I think he's somewhere over here. It's so hard to tell with this fog. For a second, he sounded behind us, but then when he was kind of sounded out of breath, he sounded like he was out in front. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give out one more call, and then I, I have to reload. I have to reload. I'm already out of bullets. Bullets. Arrows. Sorry. Arrows. Air. That's a grizzly bear. wonder what the odds are of him coming this way. Probably slim to none. I already missed his call. I heard it's been five seconds after I heard it, and I already missed it. All right, we got a wolf coming in. I'm going to go ahead and hunker down and wait and see where he comes. Oh, it's right there. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Can we go one for three like I think I do? Oh, this thing stresses. I'm already stressed out. One for three. Mom, get the camera. One for three. Woo! One for three. I'm right. Ladies and gentlemen, one for three, and we have a good wolf down. I'm pretty sure wolf are worth at least 30, 30 bucks or so. This has been, a, honestly, this has been great. This has been fun. This has been really fun. You know what would make it even better? More mule deer bucks, so let's get calling. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 15 to 17. This could be actually a a decent one. Sounds alone. He's coming back around. He's going to walk. Ah! Oh, oh, come on, come on. Here's a shot. Why, why, why can't I do this all the time with them? Why, 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 why? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. But that should be a decent wolf. Now we're bringing in the money. I have no idea where this thing came from. I have no idea. I was sitting here scrolling through Twitter, seeing what was up. In case you guys didn't know, Wild Willie OD at Twitter. Go ahead and go drop a follow. Interact. Hang out. Social plug right there. There you go. Nothing else. I'm just going to drop that right there. But anyways, then I hear this. I look over. What is that? It's moving kind of quick, but not super quick. I was like, oh, maybe it's a doe coming in. Next thing you know, it's a wolf. It's just like, oh, sweet. A 15 to 17. And oh, cool. He comes around the tree. Can't shoot him right there. And he circles back, back around. And we're two for four at dropping him. I'm, I, I honestly, I feel like I'm getting better. Getting better just by this one hunt. Two for four, not one for three. <sighs> yeah. But Hunt's still young. Still got plenty more action to come. I hope like heck these mule deer start picking up. That was a whole highlight of this tree stand with mule deer because they're all over in this area. Whoa. Whoa. Settle down. And come this way. Come this way. Come on, Smokey the Bear. Come on home. All right, everybody. Well, while we wait for this bear, this is actually probably most certainly going to be a three part video. So stick around, you guys. The action gets even better. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you are new and enjoyed what you just watched. It only gets better. So stay tuned for part two and possibly part three. So until next time, you guys hunt safe, shoot straight and we'll see you guys out there.